in Capricorn, come in, come on. I have got intel, Big Cat Wave, your next 48 hours. Let's dive in, darling dears. Let's dive in. The cardinal signs are creative, in, initiating, dynamic, and they get to the action. In tarot, the cardinal signs covers two, three, and four. The numbers two, three, and four. The second, the third, and the fourth card in tarot. It also speaks about new beginnings because cardinal signs, you always kick off a new season. It speaks about being orientated to tackle what any issues or circumstances head on. You're self-motivated, darling dears. Mm -hmm. As well as what leaders in any field you choose to what prevail over, darling dear. Mm -hmm. Oh, good golly and gosh. You've got two runes. You've got Feu and you've also got Radio. When you cast runes, you read them from left to right. Excuse me, this is not Feu. This is Answers. Excuse me, Freudian slip meant to come out. It's about the world card. It also speaks about what fair is about world. And it also speaks about what? Um, someone that didn't want a situation to end. Or you didn't want a situation to end. But this is answers in its on its face, darling dear. This is represented by the magician in tarot. The letter A, as well as the numbers 4, 5, 6, and 7. Somebody who's delusional, as well as what? A hoodwinker, a bamboozler, darling dear. And what? A confidence trickster. Mm -hmm. Manipulative to the core, creating misunderstandings wherever they go. It also speaks about the boring boredom and boring ah of their life, darling dear. Someone's feeling bored. Oh, well, that's their business as long as they stay outside the perimeter, eh? Pinky's up. Mm -hmm. The magician on its face also speaks about what? Someone who is trying to what bring around a new beginning, but is finding stumbling blocks, not having all of the tools. Yeah. Mm. You also have radio, darling dear. Excuse me, Ansys is represented by air, as well as what? Mercury energy, darling dear. Somebody's not using common sense. They don't have the flip-flop, darling dear, of common sense. It's not their go-to move. A superpower in their hemisphere, darling dears. They don't have it. They don't have it. We also have radio represented by the chariot in tarot, darling dears. And the numbers the 28, 29, 30, and 31, as well as the letter R in the upright. It speaks about what relocation. Somebody's moving to a different GPS or relocating their business or what? Starting their own business, darling dear. It also speaks about swift travel, some kind of expansion and progress going on in your life. My big cat, cardinal signs, Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn. Mm-hmm. Pushing through with a fresh start, a new beginning, having moved away from what? Manipulative behaviours. Somebody who was skullduggerous to the score, darling dears. Good golly and gosh. Yeah, a lying liar, a fake to the truth. Mm-hmm. A teller of pork pies. That's rhyming slang, cockney rhyming slang for lies, darling dear. Moving away from that situation too sweet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The chariot in the upright also speaks about your determination and drive. You've become what the warrior in your life. This is about you what? Putting fo focus on forward movement. Wanting victory and success also speaks about you going to be invited somewhere over the next 48 hours, darling dear. Somebody would like it to be a joint trip. Possibly the hoodwinker. The hoodwinker wants to take you somewhere. You better not go, my cardinal signs. Have you not seen the first 48? Are you not a keyboard gangster? Did you not watch... CSI, just saw 444 four, four on the counter, darling dear, meaning you're on the right path. Yeah. A new beginning, one which is more success, successful, moving on from a situation that was fraught and filled with what? Lies from a dummy bat. Mm -hmm. Right. Let's get your ancestral message. I'm going to use the mermaid. Oracle deck. Oh, jumped right out. A free spirit. Somebody's definitely cut themselves loose from a situation. You are free as the wind blows, darling dear. Mm -hmm. A new beginning for you. This is about you. What? Getting into what you truly deserves. You're looking for what? New, new, um, 
new new experiences, something that you bring in about after you moved away from a skullduggery or a situation, which was really hard to get away from, darling dear. They try to trap you, darling dear, for who you are. Yeah. And what's this? Discernment on its face, darling dear. You're realizing that your ferret was your your ferret? Who's got a ferret? Five 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 on the counter change, darling dear. Mm-hmm. You wasn't using your discernment and intuition in the situation. And this is how your spirit got trapped, darling dear. But we've already seen the chariot as well as answers on its face. The magician moving away from manipulative people as well as what heinous gossips, darling dears. Leaving them where they are. Some of you are also saying that you should have used discernment in a situation, but when people come in telling lies, darling dear, you can't believe them at face value. You have to wa watch them. Boosie Badass told us, eyes on everyone, right? And if you get to tracking people with your eyes, you've got to minus you, the big cat. Do I? Have you got to watch them? Because they're liars, thieves, cheaters, users, swindlers, back front neck tabbers. They get no S. They're a tabber. Right, they're a frenemy, a hater that came with the bad vibes, the bad credit, the bad intention, the bad advice. Right, and a Panani of Tom that had a bad memory. Yeah, boosy badass, fist bump. Mm -hmm. Let's move on. Let's see what's going on for my cardinal signs Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn. Let's get a deck. Face of your deck, darling, dear. We've got the Page of Cups. Oh, somebody who wants to what? Apologize to you. This this must, this must had two elastic bands on it and one of them was broken. Somebody wants a new cycle with you, darling, dear. Poss possibly someone who is what? Crack on crazy, darling, dear. One that you should have used discernment around. Mm. Page of Cups, it also speaks about what? A bullshit apology, darling, dears. What does this say? Somebody who's moody, right? And they're emotional. A page is always in no emotional. If this is not your progeny, darling dear, someone would like to offer up an apology to you. Mm -hmm. But you're trying to what? Create a new beginning, a more informed new beginning. You're having reflection, darling dear. Wanted what? More reliable friends or a more reliable love situation. Wanting someone else to fill your cup. The Page of Cups also speaks about um, students or maybe possibly even siblings and a child, darling dear. Somebody wants to offer an apology to you, darling dear. They thought you was a student when you was the coach. My big cat cardinal signs. Fist bump. Love it. I don't hate it. Your next 48 hours. The planetary energies are... Over the next 48 hours, you will be in the pre-shadow of Mercury retrograde, darling dear, which will commence from the um, 10th of September in Libra, air energy. It will then, you'll be in your element, darling dears, I told you, right? Then on the 23rd of September, it will go into what, Virgo? Mm -hmm. Breaching the, the bridge between the what? The air and the earth signs, darling dears. You also have what? Vista, retrograde in Aquarius. Bringing a lot of inequality in the world onto your doorstep, darling dear. But it's also a reminder because Vista is the asteroid of what? Self-care and independence is in the reverse in Aquarius. So this is some kind of group, some kind of family situation. All right. Aquarius is what? The 11th house. It could also be what? Skullduggery amongst siblings, darling dears and friends. And it also says that um, Aquarius also rules what? Technology, darling dear. So you're going to see something online or you saw something online or on a, on a phone. Something that what brought about your free spirit where you have to kick your way into a new day. Right, energy around my cardinal signs for the next 48 hours. Thank you. Oh, we've got the five of swords. Stab, stab and stab again. Well, guess what? You're sticking a fork in it and pulling yourself out the oven of one-upmanship. Somebody who wanted you to cry into your fist, darling dear. My right palm is itching me. Skrilla.com is a foot for you. You're making money, darling dear. Minding your own business. You know when to hold them and fold them, darling dear. And this is a time when you should run. This also speaks about what envious, jealous and manipulative people that are, your, that are at your back, darling dear. They're going through what? Mental breakdowns. As you what? Skeet, skeet. This is a situation that you don't want to make amends with. Yeah. 
five of swords in the upright, I might add. It also speaks about what? Something being um, a complete failure. Some kind of defeat, defeat bolt on from what? Betrayal. You're deciding, deciding to what? Give up on a situation. It's an empty victory to be around this person or people. It also speaks about the tongue wrestling. Somebody's going to try and what? Confuse you in your cranium by being a fast talker. Well, guess what? We've already seen the ma manipulator and their manipulative ways. Mm-hmm. Right hand is really itching me, darling. The Skrilla. Dot com is afoot. You know I'm a recce master. I share that abundance with you, darling, dear. Abundance comes on many levels, big cat, not just in the thrillers, right? Knowledge, freedom, you being a free spirit, wanting a new beginning. Clarify the five of swords, please. Thank you. Yeah, you got two fives, a situation that you had to let go of. This is a situation, is conflict, and somebody put you in competition with others, or you... Or you put them in competition with others. This also speaks about someone who is gossiping and lying. Causing all sorts of what issues in a community, darling dears. At your back, I might add, because you went skeet, skeet. What did I say? The skullduggerous page of cups. Pwah! Wants to come and say they're sorry for all of the confusion, the conflict, the drama dot com. They, they caused on you. Well, guess what? I told you, Vista is retrograde in Aquarius. Right, you need to look at the company you keep because law number five of the 48 laws of power is protect your reputation. Hang with four bottom feeders. Guess who's going to be number five? Base of your deck, darling dear. Ten of Wands. This is you releasing the what? The challenging situations and burdens that kept you stuck, kept you from being the free spirit that you intend to be. A new season for you, darling dears. Mm -hmm. This also speaks about what? You're going to be getting suddenly inspired about the challenges that you've overcome. Gone from what? The five to the ten in reverse, darling dear. Doesn't matter what they put into the situation, you're still going to be coming out on top. Base of the deck, darling dear. We've got what? The page of swords. This is the truth. It also speaks about someone spying and lying. Someone in a situation that you've mentally escaped from, darling dear, goes to six of swords. It also speaks about you being a student of life. We've seen what? Three pages of... No, two pages so far. We saw the page of cups twice. So there could be two or three progeny involved in this situation. But someone is extremely childish, bitter, jealous, and spying. Sputnik has you in the crosshairs. As you what? Move towards a new beginning. Walking away from the drama.com, darling dear, is giving you what? J judgment, darling dear. This ex-person in your life, darling dear, wants to return like Mac the Knife. They haven't finished with your hairline. Yeah, judgment represented by what? Water, fire and Pluto energy. This is about you liberating yourself from a situation. This is also what somebody being studious, worrying about exams. You're going to come out on top. If you're going for your final exams or you're about to get your, your um, notification of your results, you won, darling dear. You overcame that, that that barrier and you came with all of the what? Right intel. You're winning. If it's an exam, darling dear, if it's an exam of life, you pass the test. You have become the what? Agent of karma. Because you're learning to what? To give past situations in order to what? Call judgment on the situation and free you from any obligation to someone from the past who would love to return like Mac the Knife. I told you. They haven't finished with your hairline. They want you with a reverse fryer tuck. Mm-hmm. Judgment. This is about you what? Using discernment in the upright as you move forward with your decision making. Somebody wants a second chance and somebody will be having what? A second chance of resitting some examinations. Mm. It also speaks about you having a new stage in life. Transformation, darling dear. What fell out the back end? We've got the page of ones, right? The Page of Wands also speaks about what? An unexpected meeting. We've also got the Seven of Cups and the, oh gosh, the Six of Cups. Somebody, someone from your past, darling, is going to what? Try and spring a surprise in pronto meeting on you. But Divine is telling you to what? Choose wisely. You have options as you embrace the free spirit within you. My big cat cardinal signs. This is somebody that you overgave to, right? Yeah. 
in the upright good golly and gosh it also speaks about what having the nostalgia wanting wanting you to forgive Mm -hmm. The Six of Cups also speaks about the new opportunities coming towards you. Divine timing, six to the seven. But Divine is telling you to choose wisely because you're about to get good news in a situation. Something that is going to leave you emotionally fulfilled. Yeah. Let's give it another shot. Clarify the what? The troublemakers, the gossipers, the slanders, because they are indeed at your back, darling dear. Wanting to apologize. But you have to remember the page of cups is somebody who is emotionally stunted and immature if it's not your progeny, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? No new beginning with them, darling dear. Yeah, this is what? The Ace of Pentacle. You want out. You see this as what? Going nowhere fast, blood. It also speaks about what? Moving a what? A, from a conflicting situation. Whomsoever he was involved with, darling dear. They know how to spend money, but not make it. Mmm. Base of the deck. Look. This is the what? This is the four of wands. This is an uncoupling. This is a destabilized foundation. Somebody's also leaving a job, darling dear, because you are always put in competition with others and it looks like you've always bore the brunt of the work, darling dear. Doing above your pay grade. Well, you're not having it anymore. You're taking yourself out. You want a new beginning. Judgment card. Leaving them to it. Mm -hmm. What's this about this page of cups that wants to apologize to you? Over the next 48 hours. Why do they want to apologize now? Now that you're gone. Yeah. <laughs> Why do they want to apologize? Listen. You better put it dead in the water. In the upright. This is new love coming in at a hot trot. Your feelings for that situation. Your passions have died. Right. We've also got the ten of cups. You've got nothing to give the public. This also speaks about the cursation of it all, darling dear. This also speaks about what the loss of a family due to a situation, darling dear. That was below your spiritual pay grade. Something that kept you stuck for a while because you didn't get the message. This is going into a situation at a hot trot, not knowing all of the... Look, as I say, hot trot. Knight of Wands on its face. A dick dealing mattress back. A harlot. Good gosh. <laughs> hey, hey. A whole what? Revelations 220, guys. A Jezebel spirit. Ikubai Sakubai is their name. Somebody's feeling stuck because you've now become the queen of swords. You're not having it blood. You've got the wisdom of your experiences with that person, what they took you through, right? This person is what? A good time person. I'm seeing a lot of people gambling and kind of having a lollygagging time, wasting money and energy, darling dears. This person or people was not good for you, darling dear. Wisdom of your experience. You're divorcing yourself from the in and out energies. The people that try to keep you stuck. Whomsoever that person is, they, if they've got a car, it's a piece of shit. It's on its back, mate. They're jealous of the Flintstones. Base of the deck. You've also got what? The, the six of... This is the six of Pentacles, darling. Yes, I had to check again. Mm -hmm. Once you continue to what? Release those burdens. Divine is about to gift you with a new beginning, new options. Right? The Six of Pentacles in the upright also speaks about what? You being some sort of form of what? Charity worker or gift into charity. Gift into charity. And it also speaks about what? Assistance coming your way. Divine wants you to get into some kind of volunteer role or have, or you may be a volunteer. Volunteer for something, darling dear. It'll, you'll be paid back in what? Spirit coins, darling dears. This is in a community. Strength card on its face amongst the less fortunate, darling dear. We've also got the what? The dreamer, darling dear, the fool card. Taking a risk and a gamble on yourself, a leap of faith into a new beginning because you've awoken to a situation or circumstance that was keeping you delayed, darling dear, keeping you depressed, keeping you stuck. Your back is to all of that, darling dear, as you move forward, taking your loyalty on the road towards a new beginning. My cardinal signs split the deck. This is what? The nine of wands on its face, moving away from codependent people, the gossip, the lies, whatever it is, darling dear. You're sticking a pin in it. You care not. You're putting yourself first. Using the energy of Vista, darling dear, to what? Even though it's in retrograde, darling dear, it's righting some wrongs in your situation. Moving away from situations that kept you stagnant and stuck. Right, let's get another set. Oracle cards for my big cap cardinal signs. Libra, Capricorn, Aries and Cancer. Final messages. 
Oh, that was... Yeah, your ancestral team, darling dear, is trying to what? Buff up your badass alchemist ways. This means that you have all of the tools to create whatever life you want, but you have to be swift about it, darling dear, and be sure use discernment as you move forward you'll feel it in your tummy in your solar plexus your intuition and listen to your spiritual downloads divine is about to gift you with all of the tools circumstances and opportunities for the best outcome for you mm -hmm. any more messages mm. i bex greatest of all time darling dear moving towards your what infinite possibilities as well as your blessings using your psychic abilities your third eye on bitches and mitches use your discernment and your intuition right mm -hmm. have you ever seen an ibex if there's a crack they don't fall back take all opportunities coming towards you you'll be intuitively guided to take the right one as you move away from pennywise son or daughter somebody who was hell bent on making your life a misery darling dear you've dropped the challenge and become too blessed to be stressed as you move away from Pennywise, son or daughter. Yeah, they got a... Uh, oh, this was turned over, so this is important. Do your research, right, in future going forward before you involve yourself in any job, circumstance or situation. Remember I told you that, the energy of the nine is the Virgo, the hermit, where you get spiritual ascension and guidance for self-examination as well as self-improvement. No longer going into situations where they hate you, yeah, why? Because you nine them, darling dear. You know how to walk alone, split the deck, and you're about to be gifted with serendipity, a series of fortunate events. My big cat cardinal signs. On that note, I drops me mic. Told love to my teesprings, told love to my patron, or simply come back here. And as I always say, don't get smoked. And don't smoke yourself. From the ashes, baby. Namaste, cat, cat, big cat wave, Aries, Libra, Capricorn, Cancer, your next 48 hours, cat, 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 cat.